everybody's got a tablet. Is 2011 going to be the year of the copycats? Well, sorry, Mr. Jobs. 2013 is a year of the copycats. What's up, guys? If you have not been following the news, it looks like iOS 7 has been Android-fied. And that's actually a good thing for you iOS users. It brings you one step closer to ice cream sandwich. I'm not talking about the ice cream sandwich. I'm talking about the operating system that Google released back in 2011. You see, 95% of the features that were talked about yesterday, Android has already had. But Apple keeps boasting about innovation and how they spend so much time on the drawing board. But let's face it, Android is eating up their market share. So what better place to get inspiration than their competitor? So I'm going to talk about some of the new features in iOS 7. Let's get started. So it looks like Apple has finally given its users the ability to multitask a feature that has always existed on Android. You do, however, still need to double tap that large home button to see what's running in the background. Unlike Android, it's just one push away. Moving on to the lock screen, we see an almost identical replica of what was introduced in Ice Cream Sandwich. Apple calls this a dynamic background, but it's really a live wallpaper. It's too bad the dynamic background cannot be applied to your regular home screen, probably because it would cause too much lag due to that new multitasking capability. I guess we'll have to wait for iOS 8 when they finally get Project Butter. Another thing Apple is allowing their customers to do on the lock screen is access or notification. Of course, with Android, you are able to do that and much more. For example, you can add widgets, shortcuts, and even make it look like a boss. The possibilities are just endless. Next in the copycat department, we have Control Center, or as we like to call it, Quick Toggles on Android. But in typical Apple fashion, you cannot customize what shows up. They pick and choose what they think is best for you. And to be honest, it looks cluttered and takes up most of the screen. Unlike Android, I can pick and choose what I want to show up. Simple, clean, but best of all, I have choice. It looks like Safari got a few tricks up its sleeve. Inspiration by the Chrome team, of course. They were so proud when they released Quick Tabs, something that has been in Chrome for over a year now. And I know many iOS users still prefer Chrome as their default browser. And it's too bad they don't allow their users to set Chrome as a default browser. Shame on you, Apple. Another big change, or at least Apple made it seem like it was a big deal, was the gesture slide out menus. This has been seen on Android for quite some time. Heck, even iOS has implemented this before. Perhaps they ran out of new innovative features to show off, so they figured they could probably recycle and nobody would notice. But perhaps the biggest change is the user interface, or as I like to call it, the new icon pack. Yeah, that's basically what it is, is an icon pack. They took more of a feminine approach, definitely flamboyant. I think you either will love it or you will hate it. But unfortunately, there is no way to change it, unless of course you rely on the jailbreak community, which could be several months before that happens. Of course, there were other features they talked about. For example, iTunes Radio, yeah, Google All Access, uh, Send to Phone, which is something like if you have a calendar event, you can send it to your phone. but you Android users don't really need that because of Google Now. It automatically sends you that notification. So I wouldn't really call that a copy feature. Uh, maps? Don't look, get me started on Maps. I don't even want to go there. Oh, and uh, I believe Bing is now their default search provider. But I think that's ha that has happened before. I, I don't know. I just think the irony of a Microsoft service being on an Apple product. But anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Share this with all of your friends and family. Put it on Dig, Reddit, you know. All I want you guys to see is the truth, but I'm sure most of you can obviously see that. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Adios.